Overwatch is about to share the same retail space as the new Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And so today we're going to be talking about three different things regarding Overwatch and the upcoming Call of Duty. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the Call of Duty reveal trailer that was made specifically for PC because of the fact that they're no longer in Steam and they're now on the Blizzard launcher which is where Overwatch is. So then the second topic is going to be about Overwatch's player base and how it's going to be affected with the release of this Black Ops 4 game. And the third topic is going to be the scenario in which Call of Duty is back on top in the world of gaming. Okay, so let's start with the behind the scenes development of PC for Black Ops 4. They made a whole video on this. Also may contain content that's inappropriate for children. If you are a child and you watch this, you might die. Black Ops 4 is really a celebration of our community and something we've wanted to do for a really long time is focus on PC as its own unique platform. Right there. Thank you. Let's move on. PC gamers, what they deserve. Why, why is everybody's heads moving so fast? That doesn't seem nor- Oh, it's sped up. That was a terrible- A really strong partnership with Beanox in addition to Blizzard, who have been tremendously helpful in bringing the game to the Battle.net platform, and that's a first for the franchise. So this is one of our discussion points right there, the fact that Call of Duty is being brought out of Steam. It is just being yanked off like a band-aid on my leg and being plunged into the Blizzard IP. And I think it's a good start for the franchise. Those of us at Blizzard have been uh, friends with Treyarch for many, many years. When it Sorry, for came to working on Overwatch, we consulted with Treyarch on a number of features. Hmm, so when the Overwatch team was looking to make Overwatch, they even consulted some of the Call of Duty developers. Kind of interesting. It's the first first-person shooter Blizzard has ever made, so hearing their advice really helped us build out our game. That guy has more monitors than me. I only have two. One, two. They have four trash cans. All the features of Battle.net, I think it's gonna be pretty amazing what Black Ops 4 is gonna to have to offer. For the Black Ops games, we've always had dedicated servers, and this game is no exception. They provide the performance and the security that our PC players need. Dude, I like this last shot of the PC. They do like a slow pan up of it. Look at this. Mm, you know it's a PC video because there's a pan up of a PC. So this was a video that came out a few months ago around mid-May and nobody expected us to see Jeff Kaplan in it, so that was the coolest thing ever. And now we're going to be talking about how this game, when it releases, how it's going to be affecting Overwatch. And now the fact that we have two first-person shooters on Blizzard's platform. And the big pieces of my channel are talking about Overwatch and also importantly, helping you get better at Overwatch. So let's talk about who I've partnered with to bring you today's video, Game Leap. Let's face it, every day that goes by, other players are getting smarter and putting in more time to get better at Overwatch, making your climb even harder. And this is why Game Leap exists. It provides a training ground for you to learn faster and smarter. With a seemingly infinite amount of helpful and coaching videos, with more being added every day, this is the best way for you to start your journey to high elo today. Game Leap is here so you don't have to learn the hard way through mistakes in game. Game Leap is a very simple website where you make an account, pick what heroes you want to be good at, and start learning. All of the videos are made by high ranking top 500 players and make sure you stay to the end of this video for a special offer. So let's get into the player base. Overwatch is now sharing the same retail space with another FPS game. Black Ops 4 and Overwatch will be side by side on the Blizzard launcher. So in other words, you can look at this as competition. Both games are going to be fighting for the FPS player base and Black Ops 4 is coming in potentially as a threat to Overwatch and basically what's going to happen here is initially the very first day you would maybe see a minor change, but over time, nothing is going to hurt Overwatch at least from Call of Duty. In the third point, we'll really get into the scenario in which Black Ops 4 beats Overwatch in the Fortnites and PUBGs and how it can come back on top. But when it comes to the player base, initially when Black Ops 4 drops, there will be a lot of people playing the game and it'll take a little bit away from the Overwatch player base, but just for that first week, and that might even be a stretch. The new Call of Duty releases are flopping year after year on Steam and can't hold a player base. While they have pretty high initial sales, 
people just stop playing the games. They end up going back to the PUBG's Fortnite's and Overwatch. And that's gonna be one of the big reasons that Call of Duty's pulling out of Steam and going into the Blizzard launcher. And so they were wanting this media attention and the news from fans and even people that are just following the franchise. They want that news story out there that they're changing things up. They just want some sort of more media attention and Blizzard has a fantastic reputation of delivering a platform that only really provides fantastic games, so they're hoping all of this is going to help with Call of Duty's health as a franchise. But this will all only work if Treyarch will deliver. If not, the Overwatch player base is going to be unscathed, nothing will even cut into it, and it'll be yet another Call of Duty game that has flopped. But, now let's move on to point three as I throw my notebook. Point three is about the scenario in which Call of Duty takes back its throne. Call of Duty, the game, let's talk 2007 to 2010, the game everybody had and played. Ever since those years, the numbers have kind of gone like this, but on console, no. they pretty much held their empowered, high, prestigious numbers. But even then, we're starting to see the downtick on console, so the franchise is in trouble, they see this new opportunity called the Battle Royale, this thing that PUBG did and then Fortnite did to explosive success. Black Ops 4 is coming out with the Blackout game mode. Most of you know this. Call of Duty will have their own Battle Royale game mode called Blackout, and it's going to be coming very soon. The only chance Call of Duty has to come back and beat the Overwatches, Fortnites, PUBGs, Counter-Strikes, everything, is if this Battle Royale game mode ends up being perfect. And I mean, there can't be any issues. Starting day one to day whatever, there can't be any bugs or glitches, there can't be the typical server errors, there can't be just macro gameplay issues. It's gonna be the game's last shot to get it right because the typical Black Ops and Call of Duty multiplayer is kinda old, no matter how new the maps are or how new the weapons are, we get it. This Battle Royale game mode is its last shot for at least another year to get things right. And I'd say the odds of that happening are about 3%, 97% chance Overwatch, this is going to come, and Overwatch is just going to remain crushing it. Not even close. Overwatch will be crushing it. So since the odds are Overwatch will remain one of the biggest games out there, you need to make sure that you're up on your game. And you can do that by going over to Game Leap right now and using code NATSON for a 25% off subscription. I highly recommend you to get a Game Leap subscription because the most important aspect of ranking up is your game sense and decision making. So go ahead and click the A on the screen and it will take you right over to the site. Have an amazing rest of the night everybody. Take care.